Good morning guys, hope you're having a good day so far. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you why Plasti dipping is better than actually buying envelopes. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like, subscribe. Let's get into it. So, one of the main reasons is you can have different colors. You can have gray, flesh, silver. You can have black. You can have blue, green, yellow, red. Any color that you can think of, they pretty much have. And it looks good too. So, one reason why Plasti Dipping is better than buying emblems. Number two, if you remember, I did a video on these about a year ago. I think it was like, I think I looked up the date. It was like July 2nd. I have not touched this Plasti Dip whatsoever. And it is still there. So it has been over a year. What is it, a year and two months? A year and a month? Something like that? Anyways, it's been quite a long time that I've had this Plasti Dip on. It has seen 105 degree weather. It has seen 28 degree weather. It has seen power washing. It has seen automated car washes. It has seen heat, cold. Anything that you can think of other than like tsunamis, it has seen. And it still looks good except for, except for that bug or whatever that is. I don't really know what that is. So yeah, that was number two. Number three, it's a whole heck of a lot cheaper than buying emblems. Let me just show you something real quick. So if you look on here, you can see Plasti Dip is like 30 bucks for four. You look up the emblems, like something that's very similar to this emblem right here. It goes for around $193 on americantrucks.com. $193, guys. This is so much cheaper than the actual thing and you can customize it to how you want it. Also, if you look up whatever spec truck you are, like these XLTs that I found on Amazon, it is like $30 compared to it being free and your original so you don't have to worry about scratching your paint when you're going around it or anything like that. Also the EcoBoost one is still perfect even with mud and everything else kicking up on it. So there, that's, that's, I don't really need to say anything else. It is so much cheaper, so much easier to do. And if you have a, a little bit of time, you can customize literally anything you want on your truck. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. So guys, like I said, Plasti Dipping is way better than buying emblems. You can pretty much get any color you want. You can do it however you would like. If you wanna make these, this little lariat right there, if you wanna make that chrome, you can take off that little, little thing too. So I mean, it's fully customized to your spec and how you like it. Um, so. That is, that is pretty much it. As for the 1,000 subscribers, thank you guys once again very much. I do greatly appreciate it. I'm on emails. I have, I'm on emails. I'm, I have emails talking to a certain company about certain things for the truck that you guys recommended. So hopefully I'll be hearing back from them soon. Until then, that is pretty much it. So let me go ahead and play a little bit of that Plasti Dip video for you. And once again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. But if not, thank you once again. Make sure you like, subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. So shake vigorously for a little bit, and then you're gonna wanna spray around six to 10 inches away from the emblem, so that way it doesn't drip or make the emblem look like doo, doo So let's go ahead and spray the emblem. And just to let you know guys, you're gonna to wanna to do a couple layers. So this is the first layer, I'm not doing a whole lot, so that way it dries a little quicker and more thoroughly, I guess. So I'm gonna let it cool down, dry off, and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a second spray. You're gonna to wanna to do this about five times just to make sure that you coat the emblem properly and you get all the different angles in the emblem. So once when you have everything that looks like this, everything is taken off, you're gonna to wanna to get a wooden toothpick and just go into the creases and the little indentations and try to peel off as much plastic dip as you can without ruining the actual plastic dip.
bottom side off. See, if you do it right, it should just peel away from the emblem. So, Cool. 